Hello, we're going to try out Bunsen Labs. I'm booting it here from a USB stick. And here we have a boot screen and let's just try out the live version. We're gonna skip ahead the boot sequence. And here we are, already with some information on the right side. The notification about Wi-Fi. This message goes away by clicking on it. There we have a clipboard, a battery widget which is not interactive, and we have Wi-Fi information, and we have a network connection manager, as well as a date widget. Here are the terminals, this looks like Gedit to me but it actually is Genie, which is, uh, to me, I know it as a Lua code editor. The file explorer is thinner. I personally prefer Rocks Filer, but thinner is okay too. And this icon here is Ice Weasel. Let's take a look at the right click menu. And let's see what happens if we enter some commands that are not gonna, gonna get accepted. So it blocks these commands, and we can close it with escape. The video player is VLC, which we just started with, uh, with a shortcut. You can see the shortcuts on the right hand side. There are actually some recommended applications, and if you select them, you get a terminal with a command line installation process for that app which is much nicer than a graphical slow as package manager I would say. There are a bunch of default folders in the home folder. I'm used to bin being hidden in local slash bin actually. We have some templates There is a lock screen we can try, although you might have seen the password, but you might have seen there was no username to use. So we're gonna basically lock ourselves out. So the computer went dark and I decided to press a power button to wake it up, which made it shut down. My bad. Anyways, let's uh, turn it on again and try something smarter this time. So, first one thing, it's um, it is impossible to right-click these icons to modify them or something. So we probably will have to edit some configuration file to control which icons are here. But anyways, let's try the lock screen again. And this time I'm just pressing the key on the keyboard. And here we are in login, not knowing what we're supposed to use, not knowing what username to use. So the only thing left to do is shut down, of course. So if we're trying to play it smart and use who am I to find out who we are, which says that we are user, and then we log out and try to log in again, it just doesn't work. What a shame. So I'm just gonna go through some of the controls. Here we have volume, which looks like PAVU control to me. The task manager is HTAB, which I would say is a good choice. Here we just enter the main menu, which I'm actually not that sure what it is. Using 
Windows key and space and with, and with Alt F2 we can run a command. So I finally found the power manager where I also see a slider for the brightness which unfortunately does nothing but this is, I'm pretty sure this is unrelated to the operating system. I could not change the brightness in Windows already. It's just this Asus U32 use issue. Brightness control also work, even though it does not work with this particular computer, but as you can see the user interface is quite okay. That's pretty much it what I wanted to find out, so I hope this was helpful to you and maybe Bunsen Labs is something for you. Ciao!